Now let's return to the Seattle Roadster Show. Maynard Albertson, this is really something. This is a fantastic car you have here. Thank you, Lance. So I'm walking around the show. I'm, I'm trying to find cars that are obviously ones that I like and that the viewers are like, this really stands out. This is an amazing car. Yeah, thank you very much. Tell I, us a little bit about the, the whole conception of it. When the time you were sitting down having a cup of coffee till this was done, what, what happened? Yeah, well, it, it started off with a, a phone call from uh, a six-time uh, world's record holder in offshore ra racing. Called and said, I, I have an idea and would you build this car for me? So we incorporated about five Formula One technologies in this car starting with it has a complete aluminum chassis under it uh, that weighs 160 pounds. Uh, the, it's all C5. Uh, the brakes are all convoluted Formula One. Uh, the car shifts by paddle, paddle shifting, a Formula One technology. Also, the air ride suspension is controlled by supersonic um, uh, sensors, meaning the, there's a sound system that goes from the ground while the car is driving and it corrects itself huh. uh, by this sensor. So it's keeping it at the same ride height? Keeps it at the same ride height huh. all the time. Huh. Tell us a little bit about the running gear. Well, the uh, C5 suspension Five. and it's an LS6 with a supercharger, a Magnuson supercharger uh, with a transaxle, has a five-speed automatic uh, transaxle, meaning the transmission's in the rear. The car, and this purpose is a balance. The car is completely balanced, meaning 50% in front, 50% in back. Uh, about 600 horsepower, and uh, I don't know if that'll all ever be used based upon uh, how much this car is going to be driven, yeah. but, but it's got it. Overall, this car is phenomenal, but it's the details that really stand out on this car. The, the interior, you have things that I've never seen before. Uh, I'm, I, I'm just looking at cuts in the metal, and the, just this is a really different car. Yes. The interior on this, uh, the seats, I've never seen anything like it. The, the shifter, the gauges, this, this, is all, this is all new. This is all cutting edge stuff here. It's all cutting edge stuff. Uh, probably the only thing that's the original Ford that we actually was made in 1937 <laughs> left in the car are the headlight lenses. Although the headlight uh, bezels are all handmade, uh, the gauges are all handmade, there are, are over 200 different handmade parts for the car. Uh, I come from a world of robotics, so all of the, the, the hood, the trunk, and the balance for the, for the uh, uh, top to go back into is all, all automatic, and it's all controlled by that uh, console center in there. there, and it has 11 buttons that, that control all of those functions. So there's very little you need to do just to uh, then steer it and drive. The seats, they're very unusual. They're just sort of floating there all by themselves. They do, they, and, uh, and the, these chairs I designed, um, there's a builder of a, of a lounge chair called Ames, and that uh, very classic uh, furniture, and I took the original design because of the lumbar support and in, in racing and in performance cars, lumbar is an important area to be supported. Maybe, oh, I, I can't narrow it down this much, but there's so many things that are pretty about this car, but the gauges, the, the gauges are so cool. Yeah, the gauges are. The gauges uh, are, are all handmade, they're a one-off. Uh, the gauges, uh, in fact, the name of the car is right on the, the gauge. Uh, there are eight gauges uh, that, uh, that uh, in the cockpit that help control the, the system of the car. Well, Maynard, this is a beautiful car. Thank you very much for having it on the Vintage Vehicle Show. It is an honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>